I've spoken of a thousand points of light. During dream and a thousand points of light. I'm very proud to be here with my president of the United States who keeps his word and we thank you very much, sir. That's great. Honor. And we thank you very much, sir. That's great. Honor. All the rhetoric you see here, the thousand points of light. What the hell was that, by the way? Thousand points of light. I never quite got that one. Try to say, what the hell is that? Has anyone ever figured that one out? President Obama telling Donald Trump, President-elect Trump, you will get used to the protocol. And for those of you who have done some shopping yeah. around the country at a store called Tiffany's, <laughs> you recognize, you recognize that little blue way. box, don't there you? There are a lot of spouses uh, that recognize that blue, blue box. By the way, something about the Marines. It isn't just any Marines that get to do this. It is, they are the best of the best that get that. A word. All men are created equal. Well, it's not true. Some are smart, some aren't. You have to have the right, the right genes. I have a certain gene, I'm, I'm a gene believer. Do we believe in the gene thing? I mean, I do. I have a great genes and all that stuff, which I'm a believer in. When you connect two racehorses, you usually end up with a fast horse. The Secretariat doesn't produce slow horses. Well, I think I was born with a drive for success. I was born with a certain intellect. The fact is, you have to be born and blessed with something up here. God helped me by giving me a certain brain. It's this. It's not my salesmanship. It's what? This. You know what that is? It's the brain power. I have Ivy League education, smart guy. I have like a very, very high aptitude. I'm pretty good at English. I always did very nicely in English. I mean, like, I'm a smart person. You're born a fighter, and I've seen a lot of people, they want to fight, but they can't. Some people cannot genetically handle pressure. I always said winning is somewhat maybe innate. Maybe it's just something you have. You know, you have the winning gene. Frankly, it'd be wonderful if you could develop it, but I'm not so sure you can. Big say GOP frontrunner Donald Trump doesn't act very presidential. But an Illinois man says that Trump has quite the presidential bloodline. In fact, he says the real estate mogul is related to all 43 U.S. presidents. Aaron Eads explains. You, me, you had grandparents. They had grandparents. Out, out. Out. There's thousands of points out there that brings it down to each one of us. Any of us could be related to Ken Reveal, but if you had close ties with him, he'd probably make sure you knew about it. It's a hobby. I've done it for over 35 years. And I've said we've traveled all across the East Coast, we've traveled out to Utah. Uh, to different uh, libraries. With President Obama in his final year, yay! So when Reveal told us this guy was somehow related to all 43 U.S. presidents, we had to take a look at it. There's a connection, but it may be really remote. Other times, it's not. One of the most distant connections Reveal found was with Franklin Roosevelt. According to Reveal's research, FDR is Trump's fourth cousin once removed of the husband of the half-first cousin seven times removed of the wife of his second great-grandnephew of the husband of his half-first cousin once removed. Their relatives probably don't have run-ins at family reunions. But others are closer. Reveal says Trump and Abraham Lincoln are 26th cousins, not at all removed. We asked Reveal why he decided to figure all of that out. I'm going to be honest with you, Trump was, was the birther movement. I said, I want to demonstrate that these people are tied together. And my whole objective was to demonstrate that he's picking on his cousin. So I can just hear him now, but my cousin Lincoln. <laughs> But that's interesting. That, by the way, that presidential project took about six months. The story of a seventh grader from Salinas who claims to have made a major discovery about President Obama. She and her grandfather say that President Obama is related to all but one U.S. president. We get more tonight from Action News reporter Felix Cortez, who's live in our Salinas newsroom. Well, Dan, the uh, youngster spent the summer, really all summer, tracing the family tree of our presidents. Her conclusion that all the presidents, with the exception of one, share the same grandfather. Well, first we start off with George Washington at the top. 
And then it goes to John Adams, Thomas Jefferson. 11-year-old Bridgeann Dovigno says she's made a first-of-its-kind discovery that President Obama and all the presidents before him, with the exception of one, are related and descendants of a former king of England. No, they are all cousins oh, and see. they're grandsons of John Lachlan. Davigno says she spent countless hours on the internet over the summer researching the lineage of our president, a project that started with her trying to trace her own family tree. But I'm the first historian to do all the presidents. I'm very glad I got this done, and I think it will turn out to be a success. The Monta Vista Christian seventh grader has written President Obama to tell him the presidents before him are his cousins. She hopes to present this family tree chart personally to the president. I read those first two books, though. Who knew? You and Dick Cheney cousins? You know, uh, listen, <laughs> the, uh, I don't think I'm going to the family reunion. Uh, I don't know how I'll, how I'll be greeted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, no, you know, these folks have been doing all these genealogies on me, and, and right. uh, you know, they've, they've found all sorts of strange connections. This has got to be the strangest thing. Well, listen, if you go back far enough, yeah. you know, you got all kinds of crooks and thieves in your family. <laughs> so The Hill on Friday reported that President Obama will reemerge in the fall. So you're saying the kids should be scared or maybe not? I'm saying, don't ever take me for granted, because I will return like the thunder in the sky. There's a storm coming! His storm! is gonna get worse. Look, 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 just look for a second. Come on, everybody. One Let's second. Let's get going. The storm is gonna get bad. It's gonna get really, really bad. You're not gonna be able to survive in it. Did Donald Trump pay for Hillary Clinton to attend his wedding? At the big Republican debate, when he was asked about donating $100,000 to the Clinton Foundation, the billionaire had this to say. I give to everybody. When they call, I give. With Hillary Clinton, I said, be at my wedding, and she came to my wedding. You know why? She had no choice because I gave. Bill and Hillary did, in fact, attend Trump's wedding in 2005. Here's the photo to prove it. It's the ominous granite tombstone reading Trump, Donald J, with his birth date, 1946, and a blank date of death. The nasty epitaph, Made America Hate Again. <laughs> 